Hey everyone, Andrew Stormer here and welcome back to another computer tutorial. And today we are talking the difference between MBR and GPT hard drives. MBR is the old way of doing things while GPT is the new version of everything. Your computer, if you bought it from like Dell or some other company, it probably is already GPT, which means you're fine. But for everyone building their own computer, and or switching from something that they have or like if you're like me you just take your old hard drives and you keep putting it in your new computer or you clone it problem with MBR drives is that they cannot have more than about two and a half terabytes of information on the same drive. It just won't let you partition it. GPT though, it lets you be able to make partitions up to pretty much the sky's the limit because zettabytes of information and stuff, like when are we ever gonna reach there? How I came across this is I was going to put in a three terabyte hard drive into my computer to expand my storage. In MBR, you can't have a three terabyte partition and not even a three terabyte partition where you could have a two terabyte partition and a one terabyte partition, but you only get the two terabytes. You have one terabyte of your drive that you actually cannot use whatsoever. You pay all this money for three terabytes and you can't even use all of it. So that's why you want to go GPT. The other reason you want to go GPT is because everything in the future is going to be GPT only. If you're running an MBR hard drive as your primary, as your boot drive, it has to run the BIOS firmware. Eufy firmware is what GPT requires. If you want to boot using a GPT drive, you have to boot using Eufy. If you want to boot an MBR drive, you have to boot BIOS. Lastly is if you are someone like me who likes to clone their drives instead of just reinstalling everything and copying files over, if you convert everything over to a GPT drive now, you can just clone the GPTs to new GPT drives. There is a way to convert a MBR drive to a GPT drive but I would not recommend it at all because one, you risk losing all the information on your drive, and two, I haven't even figured it out. I tried hours and hours and hours trying to get it to work. It would not work for me. The super easy way that I found to make it work, you buy a new drive, you plug it in, you reinstall Windows to it, and you make sure you're booting Eufy, it automatically installs everything GPT. So. There you go, super easy fix if you want to convert. If you have other drives that are just for storage that are MBR, they will work with a GPT boot drive. How you check what your drive is, if you go to disk management, you just click on whatever drive you want, you go to properties, under volumes you can see guide partition table, which is GPT. These ones here, you can see under volumes, it's an MBR. Basically, check your drives to see if they're GPT or MBR, and if they're MBR, the next time you upgrade your computer, I would recommend getting a new drive, reinstalling Windows, and booting Eufy, and having that GPT drive. So you're using the current formatting and firmware with everything and you're set for the future. And also if you ever want to have more than a two terabyte hard drive, you also need to be using GPT. That's gonna do it for this one. This is just a one-off computer tutorial to add to the list of everything else. I made the computer tutorials, it was about 20 episodes a year ago and uh, some of them, one of them's been doing really good. If you came here through that video, thank you very much, but I'm a gamer. I don't teach computer stuff all the time. These tutorials are meant for gamers or anyone trying to build your own computer to have all the information you need to do so in one series, in one place, because I have not found personally on YouTube a place where you can learn everything you need to know. If this is your first computer tutorial that you've seen by me, 
I have a whole series on a bunch of stuff you need to know. So if you're interested in building your own computer, link in the description, watch the entire playlist. It's been really cool seeing a couple of the tutorials kicking off and people really finding them useful. If I learn something else in the future that I think you guys need to know about how to build your own computer or good information on computers, I'll make it, but it's not something that I'm just gonna keep pushing out videos on. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.